The Tokyo Stock Exchange conducted POC, proof of concept, tests for the applicability of distributed ledger technology to capital market infrastructure. We have tested whether a streamlined process on securities market, security issuance, trading, settlement, clearing, and ownership registry. We were able to realize seamless processing by letting securities companies and administrators process distributed notes respectively. First, we will explain about securities trading. Here is the top page of our POC tests client application. OTC transactions are assumed in this demonstration. When you press the account or form tab, the balance information of your customers will be displayed. Let's trade securities between a customer of a securities company, TSE1, and another securities company, TSE2. First, I will register transaction information from TSE1. In this example, I will sell company stock for 500 Japanese yen. When registration is completed, I will see a message a new block is created. In our POC, we were able to adopt a comparatively fast consensus algorithm by using a consortium type platform. Unlike remittance of Bitcoin, securities trading cannot be established without approval by another party. Let's see TSE 1's counterparty, TSE 2. First, I log in as TSE 2 in the client application. Let's see if the transaction entered by TSE1 has arrived at TSE2. Transactions involving TSE2 are displayed on this screen. Here, I can see that there is one order waiting for approval. If I can agree on the issue, selling, price, quantity, I will choose a specific account as opponent and approve. When registration is completed, I will see a message a new block is created. Immutability and confidentiality of information are important issues in using distributed ledger technology for financial market infrastructure. Let's check the state of the blockchain. I can check such information as the total number of blocks, block creation rate, and average number of transactions per block. Moreover, if I want to see the contents of each block, I can check it by clicking the right end. It is also important that the contents of transactions are kept confidential to other companies. Let's check if this transaction is kept secret to a securities company, TSE3. In the TSE3's client application, you cannot see transactions of TSE1 and TSE2. Next, I will explain the configuration of the experiment's environment and how we realized confidentiality. In our POC, users of infrastructure access the DLT network through client application. Each node on the DLT network holds the same data which is encrypted. Certification Authority issues a key for decrypting encrypted data. In our POC, the administrator can refer to all the information, but multi-level reference control is implemented so that financial institutions cannot access other than information about the company. Many of the public blockchain platforms cannot do such reference control. We confirmed that we can control such multi-layered information by using Hyperledger Fabrics authentication function. Next, I will explain about clearing and settlement. Only the administrator can conduct security settlement. Let's log in as an administrator. Administrators can view all the transactions and perform netting. By executing netting, multiple transactions were offset and became a transaction of 400 stocks. In addition, each time an administrator settled the payment, the funds and securities balance are checked. Here, the transaction was completed because the cash balance and securities outstanding were sufficient. Normally, Blockchain settles every transaction almost real-time, but in the securities market, there is a mechanism called netting settlement. Through our POC, 
we confirm that we can implement this function. Finally, I will explain the functions of balance management and corporate action. This function can be used only by the administrator. Currently, creating a shareholder registry is a time-consuming task. However, in our POC, an administrator can review any shareholder register real-time by ID management and information concealment using a certificate authority. In addition, an administrator can process corporate actions such as dividend payment and stock split at once. Dividends will be paid when you designate a security, enter necessary information for dividend payment and press register. Although it is not implemented in our POC, in principle, the system can incorporate any corporate actions and voting rights exercise. This is expected to reduce shareholder management costs. Many of the public blockchains processes each time a transaction occurs. However, in our POC, we confirm that batch processing such as netting, balance check, DBP settlement can be done while synchronizing. We operated these functions manually, but we think it is technically possible to automate a series of processes and to reduce operation costs.